Hello my lovelies, welcome back to Rouge Pack Beauty. It's a festive Rouge Pack Beauty. We have the tree again behind me and some very Christmassy red lips and nails. The lips, it is the new Dita Von Tees lipstick for MAC, gorgeous. And I have my red nails, I can't remember the, nail of the, the name of the polish, but it's by Smith & Colt, or is it Colt & Smith? one way or the other, from Space NK. It has to be one of the best polishes I've ever used. It just does not chip or wear down. So very festive. Um, I'm going to do a Christmas tag just because I thought it would be fun to do. And I saw it on the lovely Shawnee Lands um, YouTube channel today. Um, I'll put a link to his channel. He's just a lovely, lovely person and I just really wanted to do the tag. Um, I've gone to the same website that he went to which is enthusiastblog.com and I will put a link there as well and it's the Christmas tag. There are, I think there's either 15 or 17 questions. Um, I've not really had a proper look through. I only know from what Shawnee said so I have an idea what the questions are but um, I've not really had a chance to think about them. Them. so this should be fun. I'm going to look at my phone for the questions so apologies for looking down. Let's start the 2015 Christmas tag. Question one, what is your favourite Christmas film? Oh gosh, um, Miracle on 34th Street but only two versions. I think I've said this before. Um, the one with Richard Attenborough, I just think he was the perfect Kris Kringle, and then the one with Maureen O'Hara. What was the name? Edmund Gwen played Father Christmas. Um, and I think that's probably the best. It's got a very young Natalie Wood as the little girl, and Maureen O'Hara, who passed away recently. It's a really superb film, but I do like the Richard Attenborough version. It's just lovely, and it's such a lovely story. I think it's, it's perfect. I also love the musical version of Scrooge with Albert Finney. It was on the other evening and we were watching it in bed and Craig had never seen it properly, but I love it. And some of the musical numbers are really good. And I think Albert Finney was superb. To say he was 34 when he made it, um, I think the makeup was very good. Really good cast, superb cast. There's so many faces in there and you think, oh gosh, that's so-and-so. But um, yeah, you've got sort of Kenneth Moore's Christmas present and there's Edith Evans and it's just a fantastic film. So I love that. I do like a bit of Elf. Um, I do, uh, yeah, I do quite like Elf, but I love it when they put on, you know, your Wizard of Oz, that kind of thing at Christmas. I do like that, even though it's not particularly festive. But for me, Miracle on 34th Street and Scrooge, I do like. Uh, number two, have you ever had a white Christmas? Um, uh, yes, I have. Lots. <laughs> I've been very lucky. And I do find it quite strange that we talk about global warming and people talk about extreme weather. Um, as a child, I was born in 1970 and I think sort of the 70s, you could practically guarantee some white stuff at Christmas. Yeah, there were a lot of white Christmases. We were very, very lucky. And you could guarantee there would be snow every winter. So I've been very lucky to experience a white Christmas. It's the most wonderful um, feeling. And there's nothing better than Christmas morning when you pull back the curtains and there's just this carpet of snow. It's so magical. So yes, but I do find it odd when people say global warming and how the weather's changed and all this flooding that we're having. When I was a child, flooding was just part of life. And I can remember being stood at the doorstep of my parents' house with water actually lapping at the doorstep and all our furniture balanced high up. It was just the norm. So it does make me chuckle when I see it on the television. But yes, I have been very lucky to experience a lot of white Christmases. Number three, where do you usually spend your holiday? Generally, at home. Um, Craig and I often talk about going out for Christmas lunch or going away for Christmas and we get very enthusiastic and then we just look at each other around the end of November and decide that we're going to stay at home. And I like being at home, it's relaxed, you can just do things your own way. It doesn't bother me cooking because I generally do a roast dinner anyway and it's just like an upgraded high-end roast dinner it's as simple as that so for me it's it's not a problem um yeah generally at home 
Number four, what is your favourite Christmas song? Oh gosh, I think The Pogues, Fairy Tale of New York. I just love the musicality of the piece and I just think Kirsty McCall was the most beautiful voice and I just love it. I know there's a few naughty bits in it but I do like it but there's nothing like hearing you know Bing Crosby's White Christmas and Santa Baby and that kind of thing. I do like those but I think Fairy Tale of New York I just love to hear that at Christmas time. Number five, do you open any presents on Christmas Eve? No. no, I'm very, very good, very restrained, and I like to save everything for Christmas Day. I do, however, have a friend who, like the Queen, opens her gifts on Christmas Eve, naming no names, Lisa. Um, number six, can you name all of Santa's reindeer? Oh, gosh. I used to know them off by heart when I nursery nursed. I used to know them all. Um, on Dasher, on Dancer, on Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donna and Blitzen. Yes! Yes! Did it! Still there. Still there. I think that's right. I'm not going to check now. If I'm wrong, let me know. But I think, I think that's right. I'm really proud of myself now. That's made me very happy. Number seven. How sad am I? What holiday traditions are you looking forward to most this year? Um, that's a really good question. We don't really have any particular traditions um, at all. Just doing our own thing our way, really. Um, no, there isn't anything particularly traditional that we do or something we do every year. Um, no, we just take it as it comes. We're very laid back and very sort of, as it happens, we deal with it. But maybe I like more candles. That's traditional. I like a lot more candles. Um, but other than that, there isn't really anything. Number eight, is your Christmas tree real or fake? Um, it is actually a fake one. Um, this year we do swap about some years we've had real some years we've had fake but yes the last couple of years it's been fake one year we had a real tree and we lived in a top flat up five flights of stairs and there was only one exit now it's fine when you're bringing the tree in and it's all pretty but then comes the day when you have to take the tree down and what do you do with a seven foot or was it eight foot real Christmas tree now when Craig said it's fine I'll sort it out I'll get rid of it I envisaged lots of tarpauling and sort of wrapping it up and taking it out of the flat what I didn't um, envisage was Craig getting a saw and basically sawing all the branches off and cutting it into tiny pieces which was fine except what he'd laid down in the lounge wasn't quite enough and I went in and it was just like a forest floor you could not see an inch of carpet for the pine needles that were everywhere and when we actually moved from the flat we found pine needles still in bits of furniture even though I cleaned it within an inch of its life we laugh about it now at the time there was a tear or two shed by myself just the horror of the whole lounge carpeted in pine needles I cannot tell you but we've had both I love a real tree because of the smell you get it's beautiful but f yeah we've gone for a fake tree this year what is your all-time favourite holiday food or sweet treat? I do like Christmas pudding, but I like a little bit of Christmas pudding and a vast amount of brandy or rum sauce. Fabulous. Um, I also quite like a little bit of panettone. I like that because it's not too dry. You get that sweet kick with it, but it's not too stodgy like Christmas cake. Um, but yeah, I'm quite partial to panettone at Christmas. I'd eat it all year round if I had the chance. But for me, Christmas pud with lashings of brandy or rum sauce. Number 10, be honest. Do you like giving gifts or receiving gifts? Um, I do love thinking about the gifts I'm going to buy for somebody and wrapping them and making them very personal. Although I tend to probably do it more birthdays. Christmas is very general. Um, but I, 
And I think you'd be a total liar if you didn't say that you do. Of course you like getting a nice present or two. And there's nothing better than a little parcel with your name on it. But I do think the pleasure of giving gifts is so wonderful. And I particularly love watching children on Christmas Day open presents. I it's loved watching my godson and his sister open their presents and their little faces. And oh, it's just, it's just lovely. It really is. So yes, for me, I love to give gifts. But of course... Of course it's lovely to receive as well. 11. What is the best Christmas gift you've ever received? Um, gosh that's a good question. I can remember absolutely loving an ironing board and iron that I got one Christmas from my parents because the iron had like a sticky pad and you could stick it to the wall and pretend to iron and that was a massive hit with me loved it i also got a post office which i adored i love i still love stationery and stamps and things the post office was a huge hit and i think one of the best was my typewriter and i got a typewriter when i was about four and it was blue with these sort of white keys with black letters on and it really sort of taught me a keyboard um, really well at an early age. And I loved it. It was such a noisy thing and it really hurt your fingers to type. But it really started me off on sort of writing and loving to write stories. So, yeah, the sort of presence as a child and the dolls, the tiny tears and that kind of thing um, were just fantastic gifts. I think as a child, you just it's so magical. Um, yeah, they were definitely big hits. Number 12, what would be your dream place to visit for the holiday season? I suppose anywhere snowy, properly sort of fairy lights, snow, gingerbread houses, um, the whole, the whole shebang, basically. That would be my total dream. But are you a professional present wrapper or do you fail miserably? Um, I love wrapping presents, I always have. Um, I have to say using retail really made it very difficult for me to love wrapping anybody else's because we were just wrapping continuously throughout the month of December and it did get a bit wearing. But I love wrapping, I really do, and I do bows and that kind of thing. I wouldn't say I'm an expert or a professional at it, but I don't fail and I don't wrap everything in tons of sellotape, unless it's going to America. Number 14, most memorable holiday moment. Um, that's a really good one. Always the fab, fab Christmas dinners that my mum did. Oh, they were just lovely. I really loved those. Um, one thing I do remember was sadly having mumps one Christmas. Not pleasant if you've ever had it, and I had it on both sides of my face. So I looked like a demented chipmunk, and I my face just ached, and I could barely eat, but there was no way I wasn't going to eat my Christmas dinner. And I was just sort of feeding it through, because I could barely open my jaws, my face hurt so much. And I was just sort of posting it through this little gap in my mouth to eat it. it took me ages but I, I did eat my Christmas dinner it's funny that I remember that but yes I can just remember feeling thoroughly miserable that I was so unwell over Christmas but I was determined I was going to eat the food um, memorable I mean they're all memorable there's all little things and I think obviously as a child they're more memorable I do the most Christmassy thing I remember is thinking and I'm sure I did that I heard Santa's bells on the sleigh. I was in bed, as you should be, like a proper child, in bed, or Santa won't come, and I heard his bells. And I remember standing at the top of the stairs, shouting, oh, I can hear Father Christmas, I can hear Father Christmas. And my mum sort of, you know, get back to bed, or he won't be arriving and leaving you lovely presents. Um, but yes, that's very memorable, hearing the sleigh bells jingling. Number 15, what made you realise the truth about Santa? That he is so fabulous, that's the truth. How does he do it? It's amazing. Um, that's the only truth you need to know, obviously, that Santa is just astounding. And no wonder he needs the rest of the year off when he's achieved what he achieves. Um, that's all you need to know. That's what I realised about Santa, the truth. He works damn hard. 
Number 16, do you make New Year's resolutions? And if you do, do you stick to them? No. no and no, because I don't make them. Don't believe in it. I think it's a load of old cod swallop. And I just think we beat ourselves up enough about things without making a list of things that we probably will never achieve anyway. For some people, setting goals is a good thing. I appreciate that. But you can do that any time of year and I just don't think New Year should make any difference. So no, I don't make any, so I haven't any to break. What makes the holiday special for you? Number 17, it's the last question. Um, um, the atmosphere, when all the towns put their lights on and the trees there. I used to love it when the Salvation Army used to go around and play around Christmas and you don't see it very often, but I loved hearing the carols playing and carol concerts and snow on the ground. It's the opportunity to spend time with the people I love. We recently um, had an early Christmas um, day with Craig's parents and it was lovely the way his parents, his sister, her partner, his brother, and it was just great. We had, you know, the lovely Christmas food and we were just talking and laughing and it was just lovely. Just being with people that you love, it doesn't have to be family, it doesn't have to be people. Some people like being on their own. Um, but for me, yeah, it's just enjoying the company um, and enjoying the time that we have together. A lot of people work very hard, especially those of you in retail. I feel your pain. And yeah, it's important to just have that downtime and breather and appreciate the life, the homes and the relationships we have. So for me, it's about the people that are in my life. Um, and that's the end of the Christmas tag um, for 2015. I really enjoyed that. There were some questions I wasn't expecting. Um, the Santa one was an interesting one, but you know, we get around it. Um, yes, I enjoyed that. I do like tag videos. I don't do them very often now, but I did used to. Please feel free to take the tag um, up if you see this. I'll put a link to the blog where I found it and obviously a link to the lovely Sean and his channel. Do go say hello because he's just a great, great guy. So enthusiastic and he's, he's just lovely. Just a really lovely person. So thank you everybody for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm sure there'll be another video or two before Christmas. If not, have the most wonderful time, however you celebrate, if you don't celebrate, whatever you're doing, have a lovely time and I will be back very, very soon. Thank you for watching. Bye. <laughs>